Welcome to Advent of Code Day 2 2021. This is gonna be a fun one. Today we are working with the submarine that can uh, go forward, go up or down, and that is it. This is everything that the submarine can do. So we're just gonna be starting with that. At the end, we need the uh, horizontal position and the depth. So we're just gonna be working with that. Uh, so this is the input for day two. And here we want to take the original stuff from day one, paste it here. And here we're not gonna be, so here, like on day one, what we're doing is uh, we are parsing the content of this file, splitting by line by line, and we are filtering to make sure we remove stuff like an empty line. And here, what we want to do, we want to split on a space. So x the split. Oh, actually, let's return a proper object. It's going to be a direction. It's going to be there. You know what? This is. Let's make actually something clean. So const uh, input is x that split with a space, and then actually <laughs> we're going to call that uh, direction, and then we're going to call that uh, number. I don't know n. Let's call this n. And here we can. return what do we want to return we want to return direction and n here we want to pass this string into a, an integer so yeah we're just taking for each line we are splitting on the space the first part of the string is in direction, the second part of the string is in n, because this is a number, uh, sorry, both are strings, and using parse int we convert that into a number, and we can just get started on that. So we have to have our submarine. Position is zero, and depth is zero at first, but then we do let's do a for off today line of lines a for off is quite interesting because i mean not really crazy interesting but it's just a nice way to go over uh, an array of elements without having to use the index so let's just do that here we um, have to do a switch case depending on the direction. So we could do three ifs, but switch case just works fine. So we're just going to be doing that. Uh, we are switching on um, the line the direction. Here we, the first case is forward. And I always write break right away because it's easy to forget about it. Forward, down, and up are the options. Forward, we just do submarine. Oh, there's an issue with my editor. It's like, I think I need to fix the number of spaces. Yep, never mind. I think my editor is outputting four spaces, but prettier is putting two spaces. That's not a problem. Uh, so submarine that position plus equal line dot n. Here this is not gonna be position but depth. And when we go down we say minus equal n and here plus equal n. I believe this should be it. And what do we need at the end? We need the submarine to have, actually let's just log 
we console log the submarine itself. Node we are day two the JS. We have position of ten and a depth of no oh, sorry position of fifteen and depth of minus ten. The depth should be ten. So this is not correct. When we go down, we actually increase the depth. And when we go up, we decrease the depth. That makes sense. Now we have 15 and 10. Perfect. We just have to multiply both options. Submarine dot position times submarine dot depth. So here we really simulated the submarine. And we have the right number, which is 150. And we're just going to be using the full input here. We save that. We run it and we have a big number. Let's try right away this number. This should be it. Yes, this is it for part one. Let's go to part two. I'm going to read that quickly. Okay, so here, this part two is basically same problem, but we change what down, up, and forward means. And we're just going to try that right away. So here we're going to do let because we're going to just take all this code and copy paste it. And instead of just having position and depth, now we have something called aim, if I'm not mistaken. Aim. Yes, that's correct. And down and up to so down increase the aim by x unit so when we go down we do submarine.aim plus equal n and when we go up submarine.aim decrease yeah that's really i'm taking the text i'm translating that into code but the forward thing is a bit more complex it increased the horizontal position by x unit so this is this stay the same, but we need something else. It increase the depth by your aim multiplied by x. So submarine and depth plus equal submarine dot aim times submarine increase the depth by your aim multiplied by x. So x. So yeah, what they call x, for us, it is line.n. Should have called that x. OK. You know what? If we do that, would that work? Oh, I don't know what I did. Yeah, oh, no, that's not air. Sorry, I'm just using a very cool feature from VS Code, which is if you do F2, I believe, you can just rename a variable. So we call it X, and it renamed the variable everywhere. That's perfect on our, for our use case. So let's get back to business. <laughs> uh, it's increase the depth by your aim multiplied by X. Increase the depth multiplied by the aim multiplied by x so basically we should be good uh, we don't need to read the detailed explanation you know what i think we're just gonna be oops need a terminal we need to just run this number run this the number on this input what did i do sorry for that uh, <laughs> And we just need to try our code. And we are good for day two. So this is it for today. Thank you very much for the support in this series. If you like the video, don't forget to drop a like, comment. It helps a ton make the video visible for the YouTube algorithm. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.